Let's talk about sketchbooks. Yes, I do require that you use sketchbooks in ceramics and sculpture. So let's consider why that is. And even if you're in ceramics 2, sculpture 2, ceramics 3, or sculpture 3, let's review why that is. So first of all, what are sketchbooks? Um, you know, there's a million definitions for this. If you look it up online, you'll get something like sketchbooks are a pad of paper that artists use for drawing or painting, or a book of sketches. Uh, those are very vague. If you define sketch, you get a rough drawing or unfinished drawing, maybe in preparation for a finished work. So sketchbooks are maybe a place for rough and unfinished drawings that help you develop a finished piece. Better, but still not a very informative definition in terms of a wide range of ways that sketchbooks can be used. I would define them as a place to record your ideas, play, practice, and yes, plan. So, a sketchbook is meant to be low stakes, meaning you aren't committing a huge amount of time or materials to something. This is good. It means that you can try out a lot of your ideas as rough sketches, lists, whatever, um, before committing to something. It's also not unusual to have ideas come to mind before you're ready to create them. Maybe you don't have the materials, time, or knowledge, for instance. Recording those ideas as unfinished as they are in your sketchbook means you can come back to them weeks, months, or even years later, and that initial spark of an idea is ready to become that full-on artwork at that point. Sometimes these things need time, and I don't know about you, but I don't want to leave all my ideas just in my head and hope they'll be there the moment I'm ready to create them. So then why do sculptors and ceramicists use them? Well, hopefully the definition I just gave helps define and explain how sketchbooks can be useful beyond a 2D artwork. Um, we can't always have our materials immediately at hand, but I think it is realistic that most of the time you're going to have a pen and scrap of paper around. So you don't even have to work directly in your sketchbook, right? I know I don't, but the scraps of paper that I jot down to my ideas on eventually make it into my sketchbook with glue or tape or whatever um, so that I can find them again and have them in one space. Sketchbooks are faster and more immediate. There's no need to wait for things to dry and fire, so you have more on-the-spot feedback by getting those ideas down. Um, you can see here that like I'm sketching out in a lot of different ways and I'm annotating. It's not only based on drawing. And I can think about what does this piece look like in my head, potentially, what com color combinations should I use? Sketchbooks can help you figure out your end result. It's not going to give you all the answers, but it gives you a better starting point. Sketchbooks also encourage cross-pollination. So style, designs, color choices, these all can be used on a 3D artwork. Again, getting those on paper helps you make some decisions up front before you commit to something that's more time or material exhaustive. Sketchbooks also help merge these two things. If you're interested in using two-dimensional kind of drawing-based work, you're going to practice it. Ooh, you might be feeling this, right? Is this you? Guess what? Totally okay. First, the purpose of sketchbooks is, in this class isn't to evaluate your drawings. Um, second, you will get better at drawing through practice. There are two main types of sketchbook use in this class. One would be project-based, typically planning. Now, this could be text-based, it could be drawing, it could be a combination. And then also, you'll have sketchbook assignments that are not made for a project. They're just drawing or sketching practice. Like I said, you'll get better with practice. So I'm going to make you practice. Um, these will focus on helping you develop those drawing skills and continuing to develop them if you're in, say, level two or three. Um, and if you want to incorporate 2D work into your ceramics and sculpture, this is helping you get there. Now, what does that look like in practice? Let's look at some sketchbook pages by past students. So here you can see some work for project planning and how students have brainstormed ideas. On the left is a concept web and on the right is a list of ideas along with some quick sketches. Line is a foundational element of art and even simple doodles have the potential to feed into bigger work. Perhaps one of these pieces becomes a sculpture or maybe a surface design that is drawn or carved into a sculpture or a functional piece. Sketchbooks are a great place to collect and record miscellaneous things that you find interesting. These are inspiration seeds for your own work. It's easy and quick to add to and review when developing your next ideas. Magazine cutouts, printouts, quick sketches of something, um, just jotted down phrases or words. Do this enough and I can guarantee that you're gonna notice patterns at what you keep cutting out and doodling and copying. And that'll help you refine what you're interested in making. 
Inspiration also shouldn't only be based on like-to-like, -like, meaning you can get ideas for ceramic and sculptures from non-ceramic and sculpture things. Consider this. A lot of options are great for both current and future work. Imagine you created these variation sketches here a month or two ago for a project, and now you're starting something new. You flip through your sketchbook and, ooh, look, you discovered these drawings. Aha! There's some patterns and shapes you didn't get to last time, and now, ooh, maybe you want to explore them in this new project. Hooray, you've already done some of the work, right? Um, this is really something that's really beneficial as well. So there you have it. Short and sweet, sketchbooks are an excellent tool and many artists working in every and all type of art use them as part of their creative process. The sketchbook you have for this class are yours. I would encourage you to use them besides or beyond assigned sketchbook work. What I mean by that is don't feel like you can only use them for assignments. They can be used for this end your own doodles, writing, collage, whatever. Just keep in mind one thing. Um, when we're on campus, I do check sketchbooks in person. So whatever you put in your sketchbook, you are sharing with me. So just kind of a quick caveat to that. So if you're just starting out, I hope this helped to clarify why you'll be using sketchbooks in class. And if you're in ceramics or sculpture two or three, I hope this helped to remind you of why sketchbooks are useful.